Gang, this is Mike with my real estate dojo. And I was just driving and I had a great idea that I always implement and I wanted to share with you. And it's a little neat little trick that allows you to get some extra money when you do deals, okay? So whenever you're selling traditionally, what I mean by that is that if you've done a fix and flip or you're a buy and hold guy, now it's time to sell our home. Or even if you're a wholesaler, um, probably it's not gonna work with the wholesaler as much, but if you're a fix and flipper, if you're a buy and hold guy and you wanna sell traditionally with the realtor, a little cool trick that I like to do is to get more money is that normally when you get an offer on your home, um, the buyer's realtor will say, hey, we'll give you $1,000 earnest money or we'll give you 1500 or $500 earnest money. And they'll put that down. And that's okay, but I have a greater way of doing that. Instead of asking the agent to put down 500 or 1,000 bucks or whatever in earnest money, lower your earnest money to maybe 100 bucks and then ask for the option money to be very high. And what I mean on the option money is that when a buyer has a realtor and they use a track or traditional real estate contract for every state has their own in Texas it's called track. When they use that, there's a place there that, that allows the buyer have the option to uh, cancel on the deal, okay? And so what I do is that I have the realtor tell inform their buyer I want a large option money for them to cancel. And the reason is, is very crucial, so I pay attention. When the buyer puts money into the title company as an escrow, um, let's say 500 or 1,000 bucks, if the buyer decides not to do the deal, then what happens is that the buyer's money stays in the escrow, in the title company. And if the buyer does not feel like releasing the information, then you're not gonna get that 500 bucks even though it's your right to get it. For example, so if the buyer decides to walk out and, and not do the deal, they do lose their 500 bucks in earnest money that is an escrow. However, it doesn't guarantee that you're gonna get the money. That's the whole point I'm trying to tell you is that if the buyer decides not to sign the release form that's required for the title company, then you're not gonna get the money. And this has happened to me for many times, many different reasons. Sometimes it's because the buyer doesn't want to make the deal now. Sometimes they have a change of heart. Sometimes they can't qualify. Whatever the story may be. And then they don't want to sign the release form. And which means that I took my property off the market. I allowed them to buy it a certain amount of days, 30 days, 45 days, whatever it be. And then end of the day, when they walk out, sure the buyer loses some money, but I don't get any of that money. Okay, because it's at the title company. And some buyers are unethical and they're not going to release the release form for the title company to release the money and the title company is not going to release that earnest money. So a cool trick that I have came up with is that I require all my buyers to pay me a high um, option for them to cancel. For example, if they want to put $1,000 in earnest money, I say, okay, do this. Put 100 bucks in earnest, give me $900 uh, option. And this option is for your buyer to be able to cancel out, out of the deal. And the, what happens is that that realtor is going to give the title company the one hundred dollars, so the, it's going to go to, to the escrow. But that nine hundred dollars is going to come straight check to me. So now, if the buyer decides to walk out out of the situation for whatever reason, within or without the time frame of the option, then I'm going to already have that nine hundred bucks in my pocket. So what I've basically done is allow myself to be in control and demand that I need the option money for the buyer to cancel, which is good for him because now he can walk out of the deal. And if he walks out of the deal in the time frame which is allowed, great, I keep the money. If he walks out, out of the deal outside the time frame of the option, great, I got his money. I don't, I don't have to be at the mercy of the title company. I don't have to be at the mercy of the buyer to re sign the release form for me to get my option money. And so the reason this is as came is because many times buyers have done that to me, okay? Where I put the property off 
I took my property off the market for whatever reason. They didn't want to do the deal or couldn't do the deal. And they didn't, they were mad and they didn't feel like I should get my $500 or $1,000 that was in earnest in escrow. So the way for me, using my imagination, I told my realtor, hey, buddy, every time we're going to do it this way, it's this way or the highway. And that's the way I'm doing it now. So if somebody wants to buy my property retail, they're going to have some option period for them to cancel and I'm gonna need a large money for option now what is the option okay an option is it's kind of like a contract but it's not like a contract because a contract is a two-way street which means that the buyer has to perform the seller has to perform but on the option the buyer has the right to perform but they don't have to perform okay so in other words an option is uh, an agreement that a buyer and seller come together that the buyer may do something in the future may take this action in the future but the buyer does not have to take this action so it's a one-way road where a contract is a two-way road an option is only a one-way road okay and as real estate investors sometimes you know you could buy properties or put or take control of them let me rephrase it not buy but take control of it through an option so in this case it's not like that but it's kind of like that because we're allowing the buyer to have an option or take control and say you know what i want to get out of this deal okay and to, and basically the reason i use it is to safeguard myself and make sure i'm in control and i have the money that the buyer is going to put instead of the uh, uh escrow company for the earnest i actually have it in my pocket as option money and fuck the title company because a lot of times i won't get my money i have a lot of money in title companies where i'm not getting my money the buyer's gone they lost that money but they're not willing to release it to me and i'm the one that took the hit okay because i didn't have the option to sell it to another buyer that was interested okay so this is just a small little trick that I came up with just using my imagination just because I got punched in the face a couple of times. So I figured I might just share this with you guys. All right, gang, go out there and hustle and bustle. If you like these videos, please like, please comment, please share. And if you really love these videos, if you feel like I'm adding value to you because I'm, I'm allowing you to download my trade seekers, all the years of my failure, etc., into you. Please join the Dojo Club. It's only 500 bucks for the whole year. You get paperwork level one. You also get three hours of one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching with me. And I know I could change your life if you have already sold yourself on changing your life. Let me say that again. I know I could change your life if you have already sold yourself on changing your life. I can't create it for you i can't make you work out but i can push you if you're really ready to work out okay this is mike with my real estate dojo gang go out there and make it happen and don't take no for an answer have a great night